there is a universal longing for love. The kind of love that people write songs and books about. Permanent love. Love that lasts. Young couples leap into marriage with joy and excitement. Life is good. Love conquers all, right? We were made for love, but what is it really? What on earth are we talking about? How do we get it? And how do we make it last? It's something we need to understand. We have been married. Uh, in two days, it will be... Eight months. Eight months, yeah. So this time, eight months ago, we were getting ready to walk down the aisle. Full on cold feet. <laughs> <laughs> Speak for yourself. Looking, but looking forward to it. <laughs> My biggest fear of the wedding was not saying the vows, walking, well, not, I didn't walk down the aisle, but standing at the front or any of that stuff. It was literally the dancing at the reception. Um, so there was dancing at the reception, a very African thing to do. Um, Necessary. We did the bare basics of what I needed to do, and then yeah. I left Carol to it with her friends. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, we um, did do a first dance as well. Yeah, did a first dance, and then. You did well? Then after that. Carol continued dancing with her friends and I went and mingled with the guests. Ran away. <laughs> it's been... It's been very good. Uh, and I like being married. I, I don't mind people in my space. <laughs> um, and it's been fun. A lot, lot of fun uh, having Matt around every day, all day, all the time. <laughs> Non-stop. The challenge of the face of the marriage um, it's the little things, like I wish you'd hang the bath mat up to dry during the day. Those little little things that annoy you. I forgot to do that today. No, yep. no, I didn't you, do it. You did. I hung, hung it up this afternoon. I forgot. Yep. Uh, challenges. What else? The cultural differences of our marriage. We probably haven't noticed them yet, or have we? Perhaps. Maybe when there's babies. Babies? <laughs> no, <laughs> one day. <laughs> but but we haven't had too many cultural differences yet. What about all the African music I have to listen to? Oh yeah, perhaps, perhaps. I listen to more music and I dance a lot more. We decided to attend a marriage enrichment seminar. He's got a lisp. You, you can um, just call that seminar. Yeah, we decided, why do we decide? because we decided to attend the Marriage Enrichment Seminar, uh, mainly because the habits that you form in the first year of your marriage are the ones that kind of set the tone for your marriage. And so we're gonna try and give it a, a good go so that I don't end up killing Matt. Yeah. <laughs>